everyone. I recently got inspired to make a walkabout mini golf style barrel and gravity sketch and I'd like to share with you my process. Start by opening the primitives tab and selecting the cylinder. Choose sub D from the upper right and slide the slider to choose custom. Also choose center line from the primitive menu. Pull the trigger on your primary hand to create a polygonal disc that will become the metal band that holds the barrel together. The slider on the horizontal axis should be set to 8, and the one on the vertical axis should be set to 1. Select the volume tool and slide the slider for low poly to the right. Now slide the slider for polar symmetry to 8. Pull the trigger on your dominant hand to create a little geometry. Grab that geometry and put it into edit mode by pressing the blue button on your dominant hand. Select convert to sub D from the menu. Start grabbing points and deleting them by pressing the red button until you are left with a single triangle. Grab an edge of that triangle and stretch it out by pressing the trigger to extrude a quad. Now grab and delete the point on the triangle that is not shared with the quad to get rid of the final triangle. From that quad, grab the bottom edge and start extruding more quads using the trigger button. Try to create the outline or silhouette of the barrel. Now I'm pretty happy with the silhouette and I open my tool belt by holding the grip button on my dominant hand and swiping in front of me. I grab the precision tool from the belt and click on the metal band with the trigger, move the precision tool away and click the trigger again to center it on the metal band. With the precision tool on the green axis, I pull the trigger and slide the band up. Now I align my controllers vertically, grab the band, slide down, and pull the trigger to make a copy of the band. I place the precision tool on the new band, pull the trigger, and move the precision tool away, and click the trigger again to center it on the metal band. I flick the thumbstick to the right to select the resize tool, and pull up the green cube to resize the band in place. I repeat this action for the band below it. Now choose the stroke tool from the tools menu, select point mode, low poly, and slide the polar symmetry slider to 8. Start making points with the stroke tool in between and set in from the sub D.
When you're happy with it, pull the trigger on your non-dominant hand to end the stroke. Here I add a layer, set the opacity down to zero, and place the bands on that layer. Grab the sub D and put it into edit mode by pressing the blue button. Set the snap slider all the way to the right. Extrude more sub D from one of the edges of your sub D to the stroke by holding the trigger on your non-dominant hand, grabbing the edge of the sub D, pulling that edge out, and pulling the trigger. Now snap the points from your sub D to the points on your stroke object. Grab the stroke object, put it into edit mode by pressing the blue button, and choose bake symmetry from the menu. Put the sub D into edit mode again, extrude the other edge, and snap the points to the stroke. Now grab and delete the strokes by pressing the red button. Now I put the sub D back into edit mode and extrude an edge from the top and start snapping points to the inside of the sub D to give it thickness. And now I do the same on the bottom. Here I align my controllers vertically, grab, slide, and pull the trigger to make a copy of the top band. 
Now I put the copied band into edit mode and delete all the faces except for the top ones. I set the color to the color of the barrel, resize it, and slide it down. Finally, I align my controllers and make a copy and put that copy on the other end of the barrel. Okay, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.